Hi everyone, the next thing we're going to have a look at in our food in Australia unit is how early Australian food came about. We've just had a look at the Indigenous people and Indigenous foods and native foods and now we're going to see how uh, early Australians ate after the first fleet arrived. So as you would know from geography and your study in primary school, the first fleet actually landed in Sydney in 1788 and they came from England looking to set up a new colony. Um, there was a variety of ships and they actually brought convicts with them and uh, they, their sailing to, from England to Australia actually took uh, almost a year and they were bringing food with them. Um, the food that they brought were flour, rice, they had some salted meat, sugar, salt, uh, alcohol, vinegar. They'd stopped along the way so they did have some spices and seeds and things. Um, but they also brought livestock which they were bringing here to actually set up and um, get some breeding happening so that they could grow their meat um, for them to eat. So when they set out from England, um, they had a lot of food with them, but they had to have food to survive the trip. And they were also wanted to have enough food so that when they got here, they had about two years supply. So they had to do something which was called ration their food. And that's where they decide how much food everyone gets each day. And then that's it. So once they arrived, they also had to ration the food because they worked out they only had enough for two years. And, um, We'll see later that those rations actually got smaller and smaller as the years went by because they were actually starting to run out of food. They did try to grow their own crops and um, breed animals, but it was pretty unsuccessful because they didn't really know how harsh the Australian climate was compared to life in England. Um, they didn't know about the environment. Uh, and they also didn't really listen to the advice of the Aboriginals who knew how to farm the land. So as I said, they didn't know about the native foods. They had brought their own plants and seeds because they were planning on setting up a colony here. It was a plan, they didn't just land here. And a lot of those crops um, just failed. You see by the picture there, um, this is someone's drawing of the first fleet landing. Um, but it also shows you the farming that they have had in place. And they obviously started to try and grow crops just like they grew back home, but they realised that this wasn't actually going to work. So after the Aboriginals got over the initial shock of the Europeans landing and taking over their land, they actually tried to help them adjust to life in Australia. They helped them with the crops and then in return for that, the, um, the Europeans paid them in food rations. Um, and those rations were things like flour, tea, meat, salt and alcohol and those things they weren't used to and it actually um, started to make the Aboriginals quite sick. A lot of them actually died as well. Um, that diet it didn't have the nutrients that they were used to and it wasn't actually suitable for the Aboriginals so they started to develop those diseases like diabetes and weight gain. Um, the Europeans arriving and actually taking the land from the Aboriginals meant that they couldn't farm how they were used to uh, and their traditional lifestyle started to break down from that arrival of the first fleet. So our diet actually evolves from the English diet, um, which is high in protein and fat. They didn't have very many fruit and vegetables. As you can imagine, uh, if you think about the climate of England, they didn't grow a lot of the things that we could grow here. Um, very heavy reliance on sugar, salt and alcohol. And when they came here and tried to cook the things they were used to cooking back home, they didn't have all the ingredients, obviously, because they'd travelled on the ship and they weren't growing the things that they were used to. So they had to actually modify a lot of their recipes. We're going to have a look more next week about how our foods have evolved, but I want you today to answer these questions. Why do you think the Europeans didn't include more native Australian foods in their diet? Uh, and we talked a little bit about that when we discussed native foods last week. The other thing I want you to try and find out is why the Europeans salted their meat. Um, so they salted it before they left so that they had it on the ship and they also salted it once they got here. Um, make a comment on how healthy you think the English diet was and how this actually would have affected the Aboriginals. And why do you think the early settlers uh, struggled to adjust, the food, adjust to the food in Australia? So imagine you were the person who was arriving here um, just with your rations that you had on the boat and you were basically getting to 
a land which has no food like you were used to at home. So how do you think um, they felt arriving here with those food stores? See you all in class next week and I hope that you've enjoyed your very short presentation on England's influence on the Australian diet. See you then.